Hello my friends, today I've got a speed build for you, but first I want to apologize. One, for the fact that my videos have been largely pre-recorded for the past couple weeks, and two, for the fact that this video also has that dumb Cottage Living watermark on it. I know, I'm sorry, this is the last one, I promise. For context, I had beta access to Cottage Living like a month ago at this point, and while I had it, I recorded like 20 videos because I was pre-recording for my fiance had to move to the US. He's here now, we're good. But I was trying to backlog a lot of content, and this beta version of the game has a watermark on it, so that like Lil Simsy floating around the screen. I didn't put that there, that's just on the game. And I know it's really annoying and distracting and I'm, I'm sorry. This is the last video that has it, I swear. So I guess this video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. I'm not being paid, they just sent me the pack early, really early, but a long time ago. Anyway, with that being said though, let's get into the speed build. So as you can see, I built this on a 30 by 20 lot in the new cottage living world. And it's this little British house. <laughs> it's a bit more formal, kind of a traditional style. It's really nice. This is like like one of my dream homes. I would kill to live in a house like this. Unfortunately, there is just no such thing in Central Florida. There is literally not a single house anywhere that looks like this anywhere around me at all. But I just, I love how this house looks. I think it's so pretty. The landscaping around it too, like just the whole vibes of this I'm into. Although I must admit, I, I don't really see myself ever um, having chickens. But if you live here in The Sims, you can. The house has a little courtyard in the front. You'll see it's like really heavily placed in like the back left corner of the lot and the rest of the lot becomes like some garden plots and a little chicken coop area. I think this lot is laid out really well. Not to like toot my own horn, but <laughs> I think I did a good job. I think I think I'm proud of myself for like all of my cottage living landscaping. Like I think I, I managed to make it work in most of the builds that I made with this pack. And I made a lot of builds with this pack. The house ends up being three bedrooms and I think one bathroom, two bathrooms? I think there's one bathroom downstairs and one upstairs. Oh, uh, I built this like a month ago. I don't remember. You'll see. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It also has a sunroom downstairs. So it has like a formal dining room, a formal living room, a kitchen, and like a little sunroom on the right that could be like a games room or a bedroom you want it to be. I put a card table there because my grandma and I play a lot of cards together and I just know that if she lived in this house she would put a card table there and we would like play games in that little sunroom because she has a little patio in her condo and that's where we play games together now. So it just felt like the right vibe for a card table so I put one in there. And all in all the house is really not that big. I think you can tell that already but I really like it. I love making smaller houses in The Sims. I just I think it's so much more fun to play in a small house in this game. They're so cozy and like, cause you can decorate them more cluttered and not look weird. It just, I really like them. I really, really, really like them. But anyway, I have a story for you about my Sims because I have been playing the absolute most ridiculous save on my Twitch channel recently. And I just, I need to update you on this chaos. Basically, I'm on generation five of a legacy challenge on Twitch. I'm playing one on YouTube too, so I can link that playlist for you down below. But the one on Twitch is, believe it or not, more chaotic. <laughs> I have this pond, this pond full of piranhas in my save, and I keep killing sims in it. I've got about 25 gravestones in my sims front yard on purpose. I keep them there to scare off my enemies, and um, that's not even the weirdest part at this point, okay? <laughs> I have done something so terrible by accident in this save file this week. Okay, so basically, current generation, I have my sim. The heir's name is Carson, okay? That's important. Carson has two kids. He had twins. He married his high school sweetheart. That guy's name was Trent. They were together for a while, but they ended up getting divorced because Carson kind of sucks. Carson has the mean trait, so he's just mean to everyone, including Trent. And so I was like, you know what? Trent deserves better. So Trent moves out. The kids kind of split time between both their dad's houses. You know, I was kind of joking in my stream about how like, I've not had a sim get divorced in this save yet because I keep killing people <laughs> before I have a chance. <laughs> Hence the 25 gravestones. Anyway, Trent's not dead. So after Trent and Carson get divorced, Carson starts dating again. He ends up meeting this new guy called Martin. Martin's a really nice guy. They hit it off. They get together. We start dating for a while. We're kind of taking things slow because, you know, we've got kids. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll go into cast and give Martin a makeover. He, he needs one. If we're going to live with him, he needs to look better. You know, his outfits are weird. You get it. You've been there. Well, I go into cast to give Martin his makeover. And I realize, oh, Martin has a daughter. That's great. A child aged daughter, same age as my kids. That's, that's awesome. Wait a minute. Martin's daughter has the same last name as my ex-husband. Okay, that's not good. I dig deeper. I look at the family tree. What do I discover? <laughs> so Trent's mom was a single mom for most of her life. Um, and then after we married Trent, somehow the game got Trent's mom 
married to a new person, Martin. And then Martin and Trent's mom had a baby together. Holly. Then Trent's mom dies because we're playing on short lifespan and everyone lasts about two seconds. <laughs> so Martin's a single dad to his daughter Holly. Then Martin starts dating me. Okay, so what have I done now? I have destroyed Trent's heart. Just crushed this poor man. And then I went and dated his stepfather and now I live with his stepfather and his little sister. So this guy has no living relatives except for Martin and Holly. And what did I do? I went and married Martin. <laughs> you, can't, you can't make this stuff up. But I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't know Martin was like related to them. I mean, he's not like blood related to Trent, but like I didn't know Martin was Trent's stepdad. How was I supposed to know that? I, they have different last names. Like, so I just, I didn't put two and two together. MC Command Center is scary sometimes with their story progression. But anyway, now I've gotten with Martin and um, just further ruined Trent's life. I, and to make matters worse, <laughs> So my sim has those twins I told you about, right? My sim Carson and his ex-husband Trent, they had twins together. Their names are Jack and Jackie. Their last name is Potts, so it's like Jackpot. I thought it was funny. Anyway, I've got two sims both named Jack in this household right now. Well, you know how the stepdaughter now is named Holly? My sim Carson's little sister is also named Holly. So for a while there, I had two sims named Holly and two sims named Jack in my house. <laughs> Like, this family, there's just so much going on, and I didn't even do it. Like, a lot of times you kind of have to orchestrate the drama in The Sims 4 because, you know, with lack of story progression, I mean, what are you gonna do? But I didn't do this. I didn't do this on purpose. <laughs> This just happened. It's kind of funny, but I do I do feel a bit bad for Trent. I'm not gonna lie. I really just did everything in my power to make his life worse, you know? Like, he just... Why do I have to infiltrate everything he loves, you know? And then just continuously break his heart. Well, anyway, now Martin's dead. Uh, the, the new husband is dead. Because, well, what happened was he had, like, the dislikes mission decor little like and dislike. And when he moved into my house, he started complaining about my decorations. And I thought that was quite rude of him because, you know, I just built this new house and then Martin comes in and he's like, mm, your house is ugly. I'm uncomfortable. And so I was quite angry with him. So I p um, put him in the pond, the piranha pond. And now Martin is no longer with us <laughs> because Martin died in the piranha pond. So that's my current save file that I've been playing on Twitch. I'll link the playlist of my VODs on my second channel down below. I post all of my live streams on my More Simpsy channel. So if you want to watch back my like hours and hours of this ridiculous family, I will link it for you. I swear to you, I'm not kidding. I have like 25 graves in my front yard. I refuse to build a graveyard. I just keep putting the graves in the front yard and it makes me laugh. But people come into my chat and they're like, what is going on in this family? Don't worry about it. Nothing to see here. Totally just nothing weird going on at all in this Sims save at all. Do you know what? I would love to hear in the comments some of your most ridiculous Sims stories. Stuff like this, I'm into it. I want to hear about it. What like dumb things did the game do to you? Another bad one this one time, also on stream. So I, I swear I didn't do this on purpose. I didn't cheat. <laughs> it just happened. But another time, like a couple years ago, I had another big legacy on Twitch. I was on like the fourth generation of this family. My Sim had just had her third baby. Kids and infant. Their wedding is planned for tomorrow in game. I'm just sitting there talking walking on stream, like having my sim cook dinner. All of a sudden I hear like the death noise in my sims game. And you know how the game camera like moves to another sim? All of a sudden the game camera moves to the living room and my sim's husband is on the floor dying because he died of laughter. Like you know how your sims can die from emotions in the game? He was like hysterical, the, the playful emotion and died. I didn't even know he had the playful emotion. Like I wasn't paying attention to him at all. And then just dead like that. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, so he's he's gone. Um, it was kind of sad. Like, the day before their wedding, like, their baby had just been born. I think the baby was born, like, that day as well. Like, she gave birth that day, and then dad's dead. Died of laughter as well. Like, I mean, I guess if you're gonna go, that's not a bad way to go. <laughs> it's better than a piranha pond, but come on. Anyway, you can see the house is really coming together now. I'm starting to finish up some of the landscaping. I used a lot of debug stuff, and also, there's a new wedding arch that came with this pack that actually uses, like, a pretend arch to walk out of the courtyard into the, like, barn farm area and I think it looks really good. So I did that furnishing starting. I'll show you a tour at the end of the video. I do have one more life update for you that I want to quickly announce because my birthday is next weekend and I'm doing a charity stream next Friday. So I wanted to like 
mention it just so you guys could mark your candles <laughs> candles mark your calendars and stuff if you wanted to come by so on friday at 4 p.m eastern time i'm going to be going live raising money for able gamers they're a charity that helps to improve accessibility in the video game space so i'll link some more about them down below if you want to read it but most importantly twitch is actually matching all donations during that stream up to thirty-five thousand dollars. so if you drop by and you have a dollar to spare twitch is going to actually double that so if we raise thirty-five thousand dollars on friday twitch is going to donate thirty-five thousand dollars as well making our total $70,000. So we have the possibility to raise a lot of money for Able Gamers this weekend. So if you want to come by, I'll have the donation link, my stream, and all things about Able Gamers listed down below for you. We're going to play Sims. It should be a great time. So like I said, links down below. <laughs> Sorry to like overload you with links, but I just wanted to quickly announce that now so you had time to mark your calendars and stuff. I'll remind you later in the week too, don't worry. But you can see the build is kind of coming close to an end now. I'm just finishing up some final touches. I did cut out a lot of the footage from this build because I was worried about it being too long and like speeding it up too fast with the watermark because the annoying watermark is already jumping around the screen and I didn't want to speed it up too much because <laughs> then it would be even worse. So I did cut out some of the landscaping and stuff, but I'll show it to you in the tour. And um, one final thing, I actually recorded the tour of this build about a month ago. So I don't know what I said in it, um, but I'll show it to you <laughs> in a minute. I recorded the tour when I still had beta access to the to the game because I didn't know when I was going to post this. So I was like, I need to record a tour when I still have the game. Well, now the game is out. So I could record a new one, but I think it's kind of funny to post the one I recorded like a month ago. I don't know. Something about that is I, I don't know what's in it. We'll find out together. <laughs> And of course, this build is on the gallery if you want to download it. My name is just Lil Simsy on the gallery. My name is Lil Simsy everywhere. Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. You should follow me on Instagram because then you can see things like this. In case you missed it, um, big news. <laughs> past couple weeks. So I'll link my Instagram too. There's been a lot going on recently. Let's be honest. It's been a big month for many of us. Oh, and my birthday is coming up next week. So I'm just saying August 14th. I swear speed builds are so all over the place. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> the build is coming to an end. It's almost done. Let's go ahead and jump right into that tour, shall we? Take it away, past Simsy. Because the speed build's a bit of a mess with the watermark floating around, and I know it's distracting, I'm gonna do a quick tour of the build in-game so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. So I bulldozed the vacation rental that was here before, and I built it instead. I didn't picture it being a vacation rental, I just put it on that lot, but I guess you could come here on vacation if you wanted to, nothing's stopping you. And this is what the house looks like from the outside. I think this is my favorite build that I made with the new pack. I think the lot is just used really well. Like, all of the space on the lot is filled up in a way that just makes sense to me and I like it for that reason. There's not really a backyard but there is a front courtyard and obviously a big side yard and I like how the barn kind of matches the house. I know that's silly but I thought it was cute so. <laughs> okay but the front yard has a little pathway. It just has some like landscaping and stuff. Mushrooms, you know the drill. This birdhouse is in debug. All the best stuff from this pack is in debug I'm telling you. All the landscaping I used, this stuff this on the side of the house, all that's from debug. The best parts of the whole pack are all in debug. And then when you come off to the side, this is actually a wedding arch, but I, I put it there and pretended it was a real arch. <laughs> but your sims can in fact get married underneath this thing and they can also walk through it to get to the little like barn area. If you hear my cat clawing, don't worry about it. She's on her cat tree. Then the cow or llama or whoever can hang out in here. They have this little uh, log with mushrooms on it. I found that in debug and I was like, wow, that's really good. <laughs> so I put it there probably for no reason, but I liked it. There's a few little spots to plant some crops. I've got some hay bales kind of decorative outside everywhere. These are chairs. These little hay bales are chairs, but I've been having fun stacking them up. I think it looks kind of cute. And then when you actually come inside the house, a lot of these houses have similar layouts because in my mind, this is just realistically what you would find in a house like this. You walk into the staircase and like a little hallway to the left, there's a living room. It has a TV. Of course, it has a chess table because it would not be a little Simsy build without one. And just like a little sitting room type thing. Then you can come into the kitchen off the living room, which maybe isn't the most practical because like the dining room is further away, but it's okay. The kitchen's right here. I like how small it is too. It's very cozy in this space. And then you go back around into the dining room, bathroom off the dining room, it's small. And then we have a little sunroom. I did this same thing in the other build I made with the pack, but I just thought it looked so good. So I made a little sunroom with a card table in it. In my mind, I was picturing like my grandparents' house when I built this, like the old house they used to live in. And I just know that like if my grandma lived here, she would have put a card table there. So 
<laughs> I did the same thing. I channeled it. And then upstairs, surprisingly, there's four bedrooms. So this house is like bigger than the mansion that I built, but the, the rooms are all smaller. So there's a little hallway and then there's three kids rooms. There's a pink one, there's a blue one, and then there's like a blue and red one. I don't know. I tried to use the new wallpapers. I was trying to use some like fun patterned wallpaper in here. It felt appropriate and I like how they turned out. And then the parents have their own bedroom with some really bright wallpaper and they also have an ensuite. So the house is two bedrooms, four bathroom. No. <laughs> Four bedrooms, two bathrooms, one upstairs and one downstairs. And all in all, I think it turned out pretty good. I think one of my main complaints with this house and also just with The Sims 4 in general right now, we've got all these awesome chimneys that they gave us, but we don't have like wall chimney pieces, you know? Like we have the top of the chimney, but I tried to make it like come out on the side. So I just put regular brick there. This is a wall. And then there's like a little half wall on top. I wish that we had chimneys that would like go up the whole wall so you could have them on the outside outside of the house and not just on the roof, but that's okay. If that's the only issue, then we should be fine. I have just had the most fun with this pack. I know I posted so many videos on the pack, but I couldn't stop myself, okay? I, I kept recording and recording and recording. I made so many, but it turned out kind of cute, so it's fine. Anyway, I will put this on the gallery for you if you want to download it. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Just one more quick reminder about our Able Gamers charity stream that's on Friday, August 13th at 4 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be live for like six hours, but it starts at 4 p.m. Eastern time. That's 9 p.m. in the UK. I hope to see you there. Link down below.